Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I want to show you how to use MongoDB Atlas as an alternative method for using MongoDB uh, on the cloud rather than installing locally. So it's easier for most of the user and it's free to use. So let's see how we can make use of it. So just search MongoDB Atlas in Google and then uh, go to mongodb.com and it gives you the option to sign up with your Google account or you can use an email address I just use my email address to create a new account I should accept the privacy policy settings and then it gives me the option to choose the cloud services I'm looking for. Uh, my goal is learning MongoDB. And what type of application you are building, you can select any of them. Let's say I'm going to use it for business intelligence. And what is my preferred language? My preferred language for now is Python. You can also uh, change it to Node.js if you are going to develop Node.js application, but Python, something that I choose for now. But it doesn't limit you to use other languages. And you click finish it gives you three options serverless dedicated and shared the free version is the shared version which is enough for the purpose of learning so I just selected the shared version and it gives you some cloud uh, provider you can choose among AWS GCP Google Cloud and Azure um, so I just skip default uh, whatever it recommended, so AWS is recommended, and it, re it recommended Oregon um, uh, region. So just keep everything simple, whatever it is given to you. And I don't change anything else, and click on Create Cluster. So these basic steps will take a few uh, seconds or minutes to be completed. And as you can see, uh, the cluster uh, will take uh, three to five minutes to get ready for you to work. Okay, while it's working on the uh, on the on provisioning the server, I can go to the databases section, and you see uh, a cluster is created for me. After this. Uh, gets ready, I'm able to connect to databases and uh, uh, continue working with MongoDB server. Uh, a software that you can uh, use to communicate with the cloud-based version and also any uh, local-based version of MongoDB is uh, MongoDB Compass. So you can search MongoDB Compass and uh, uh, let's see, yes, this is the place you can download MongoDB Compass. It can be installed on uh, Windows, Mac, and Ubuntu, Red Hat, other systems, other platforms. Because I'm using a Mac, I need to install the Mac version, you probably use Windows, so use Windows version. Just click download, it downloads the MongoDB uh, installation file. I already installed it and I can see MongoDB Compass uh, ready to work here for me. So it needs a connection URL, I will talk about it soon. So already I installed MongoDB Campus. You should also install it to have a better uh, working space for working with MongoDB databases. Yeah, it takes a bit. Um, yeah, the other places that you should check, if you use an email address to create your account, probably you need to um, Verify your email address and uh, make sure that um, your uh, email is approved and verified to be able to connect to the cluster. So now you can see my cluster zero is created. 
and I can click on that to see some statistics about what is going on. It talks about the version of MongoDB, the server location, and some metrics that you can take a look at them when you have time. But for us, the most important one is how to connect the databases on MongoDB. There is a connect button uh, here. So if I click on that, it says you cannot connect yet. Uh, set up your firewall access and user security permission below. And uh, to make it easy, but not it's not secure, but it's super easy to do that is allowing access from anywhere. You can limit it to your current IP address at home or at your workplace. You can add a series of IP addresses, which is recognized by the server to let you get in. But easier one is allow access from anywhere. So I recommend it to the novice users. You can also just make it available for everyone by uh, putting the IP address of 0000 slash 0. It means uh, the server is ready for everyone. Then uh, you can see I should uh, create a username and password. I create a username such as Sina and password. Uh, let's just use uh, something unique. So I just use Sina Media Lab 1, 2, 3. Something that is secure. You can choose the password, username and password to connect to databases and then create that one. So you can see uh, these steps are uh, done already. You can load some sample data which is optional but that's a good idea to have some sample data uh, into the server. Uh, not sure if it's done. Let's see. Yeah should click on here uh, it seems that okay so no sample data is already okay I should upload something if I want to but it seems there are some sample data not sure if it's there okay that's fine let's get to the connect uh, section again if it if you couldn't add anything that's fine here uh, is the menu that you can um, connect to your databases and work with your files. Uh, so from the main uh, page, if you click on the connect button, uh, it gives you some options. You can connect with MongoDB shell. You can connect your application. For example, if you uh, write a, a Python program and you want to connect that, or if you write a um, Node.js program and you want to connect to that application it provides that we get to back we get to these later but for now I just want to use MongoDB campus to take a look at the databases everything which is available there so if you get to this menu you see you can download the MongoDB campus from here that I downloaded separately from uh, by, by searching the location but you can uh, download for the version of Windows or Macintosh you have. Uh, I already downloaded and I told you uh, that is installed, so it's here. Uh, what you can do to, to connect to that uh, server, to this server using the MongoDB compass is copying this uh, connection string which is available here. Get to the main page of MongoDB campus and uh, what you should do, oh, what you should do is by copying this, I think I didn't copy it correctly, so let me just copy. Here we go. Paste. And the password I chose, I need to replace it with the password I put there. Click on connect. And you see that it is connected to the uh, to the server. So you can see the cluster uh, here and some basic data sets, some default data sets which are there. You can create a new data database, and it, uh, some default data databases. You can create 
a new database such as test1 and you can have some collection there such as collection1 uh, and create one of them so you can see now a collection is on their uh, this database so uh, you can add more with this interface also you can do it pro with, the, with the program uh, so that is about uh, how to create an account on MongoDB Atlas also uh, you are able to connect to your program using the server you again need to click on connect and then uh, click on connect your application here you can see the string uh, based on the language, based on the driver for the specific language that you are going to connect to. Uh, for example, if you want to create a Node.js program, you should choose what which version of Node.js you, you need and then you can uh, get a complete code that works with, um, uh, with Node.js with that version and the only thing that you should do to connect is replacing the password you have here with the password uh, that you chose uh, when you created your username and password and for example for Python uh, again you can choose the version of Python you have and include full driver code example you can copy paste this code it needs PyMongo library to to be able to connect using this uh, connection string again you should just replace the password also you can change the database uh, in the URL if you want to uh, you can also create the databases on the fly you can create the connections on the fly so that's fine if you don't choose a database at all when you have this object um, client uh, to MongoDB uh, you are able to perform additional actions with the program so this is a very basic introduction to uh, MongoDB, uh, MongoDB Atlas. Uh, so I uh, uh, hope you enjoyed the video and learned something. Thanks for watching and have a good one.